How to add a formula in a report in Salesforce. Simply navigate to the reports tab. Right now I'm going to open up this report. We have accounts by state. This report has been grouped by the billing state. So I can see Arizona seems to have two accounts and this is the annual revenue. The total revenue from Arizona is $1.1 million. For California, I have five accounts. The total revenue I expect from California is $66 million. For Illinois, I have three accounts. The total revenue expected is over $500 million and so on and so forth. Now I will add a formula in this report to calculate the total annual revenue after tax. So this revenue is before tax, let's assume. And now I want to calculate the total after tax. So I want to apply a tax percentage to all these revenue totals. I'll simply click edit. And now I will click this button on the extreme left of the report to open up the hidden panel. And over here, I have an option for create formula. I'll say create formula and I'll give a name to my formula field. I'll simply call this annual revenue with tax. And I want this to be a currency output with no decimal points. I just want it to be a whole number. Now this is where we're going to type in our formula. So we simply want to apply, let's say, a 10% tax to our annual revenue. So whatever value our annual revenue field holds, we want to multiply that by an additional 10% and show the total. So mathematically, this is how we would do it. First, we're going to drag the annual revenue field over here. To do that, we're going to search for it on our left column over here. I'm going to click annual revenue. I'm going to say insert. I'm going to hit space. And then this little asterisk that I'm seeing, this is a multiplier syntax. So this is what we use in order to multiply. And I'll multiply it by 1.10. So whatever my annual revenue is, I want to multiply that by 1.10. Meaning that now, if my annual revenue was $100, after tax, it's going to become $110. So this is how you mathematically add a percentage of tax on your total value. I will click validate over here and Salesforce says it is valid, meaning my formula is good to go. I will hit apply and I will close this. And now I will say save and run. Now I can see a new field which has been added, which is a formula, annual revenue with tax. So my total for Arizona was $1.1 million in annual revenue. And now after tax, it's $1.210 million. So after the tax has been applied, this is the money that I'll receive. And moving to California from 66 million after a 10% tax was applied, it is now 72 million. Same for all the other groups, Illinois, Kansas, North Carolina, New Jersey. We can see that the total annual revenue over here is 50 million and a 10% tax applied to it now makes it 55 million. So this is how you create a formula in Salesforce. It is important to note that formulas within a report are only available if your report is grouped by at least one field. In our case, it has been grouped by state. And the formula's output is always shown at the subtotal level. So you cannot see the output being shown at every row. Instead, we're seeing it at the subtotal level for every group. That's how Salesforce report formulas essentially work. Thank you.